Hey, what's going on everyone? In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you an installation and setup guide for Hotspot Shield for the Amazon Fire TV or the Amazon Fire Stick. So by following along with this video, I'll show you how you can access the different versions of Netflix and also for third party apps so you can keep your IP address anonymous. And if you are looking to get started with Hotspot Shield, I do have a massive discount link down below in the video description. Let's get started. Okay guys, so quickly before I show you how to install and get set up with Hotspot Shield, I'll just really quickly cover the two main benefits of using a VPN like this. So the first one is that when you do use a VPN in conjunction with your Amazon Fire TV or Amazon Fire Stick, this allows you to essentially change your digital location so you can access the different versions of Netflix. So at the moment I'm in Australia, um, so I miss out on thousands of TV shows and movies that can only be found in say the United States or the UK. So by using a VPN you can easily bypass these restrictions and access additional content. And the second benefit for using a VPN um, like Hotspot Shield is that you can go and download third party apps onto your Amazon Fire TV Stick. And this essentially allows you to change your personal IP address. So whatever you're watching or streaming is kept completely anonymous. So I'm just going to dive straight into this video now guys. So to get started with Hotspot Shield, the first thing you have to do is go up to the navigation menu. Go over to the left hand side. Now from here you just want to go and type in the first couple of letters of Hotspot Shield. So I'll just go and type that one in now. So once you type in the first couple of letters it will come up as a recommended app. So with the free version um, they do allow you to use 500 megabytes um, per day I believe. But if you are going to be using this on your Amazon Fire Stick you'll pretty much use that up in around maybe 10 to 15 minutes depending on your watching. And with the free version, you unfortunately don't have the functionality of unblocking Netflix either. So for myself, I am using the premium version as this allows you to go and change your location. Plus there's many other benefits um, such as connecting it to multiple devices as well. So that's the one I'm going to be using in this video. So I'll select this one. So I already have Hotspot Shield installed onto my Fire Stick. So mine might look a little bit different. However, if you don't, there'll be a little yellow circle. So you just want to go and click and that will start installing onto your device. And that will just take a couple of moments. So once you've installed it, you can then go and open up the app. So I've already gone and logged into my Hotspot Shield account. Um, but if you don't already have an account, I'll have a link down below in the video description. So if you click on that one, that will open in a new tab. And from there, you can select your desired plan depending on your budget and your time frame. So once you have your details, you simply just have to log in with your username and password. So from here, um, this is what you'll be greeted with. Uh, the user interface of Hotspot Shield is super, super simple um, to use. I'd say it's pretty much on par with ExpressVPN um, for the simplicity. So right here we have the connect button. So if you are looking to use Hotspot Shield for accessing third party apps, then you can just go and press connect and this will automatically connect you to the fastest server um, closest to your location. So this will result in the fastest speeds. And this will also give you a new IP address as well. So you can feel confident um, streaming various TV shows and movies on your device. And also if you're looking to watch the various versions of Netflix, I'll show you exactly how to do that as well. So you just want to go over to the left hand side, go down to locations. Now from here, you just want to go all the way down to the kind of country that you're looking to connect to. So in this video, um, I'm kind of in the mood for watching the Friends TV show. And this is actually available um, in the United Kingdom. So I can just go click on that location and I can select uh, the automatic or the cities. So I'm just going to select automatic. And as you can see guys, we're now, we're now getting this kind of uh, progress um, circle. And once this is connected, that will be highlighted with a tick. And as you can see, we're now getting the kind of timer. And this just indicates to me that we are now connected. So now I can go watch the various versions of Netflix, um, third party apps. And I can also repeat the same process for my mobile phone device and my laptop as well. So now that we're connected, I'm going to go back to the home page. So the first thing I do before I open up Netflix is to first close the app and then relaunch it. Um, so much like when you use a desktop computer or a mobile phone device, sometimes it's good to close it and then reopen it so you can kind of get that fresh version of Netflix. So to do that, you want to go to the menu, go all the way over to settings, and then go down to applications, and then go to manage installed applications. 
and then you want to go all the way down to Netflix, click on that one, and then go to Force Stop, and then go to Launch Application. So this will now go load me onto a fresh version of Netflix, and this is really an essential step as sometimes there is um, maybe caching issues from the previous version of Netflix that it had loaded. Um, so this is a really surefire way of how you can always refresh onto a new kind of platform. So I'll go to my profile and I'll now be on the UK based version of Netflix guys. And just to show you an example of this, I'll go and search for the TV show Friends. And this is really one of the beauties of using a VPN. Um, the Friends TV show was actually taken off um, many versions of Netflix. However, you actually still can find it as long as you know um, where to look. So as you can see guys, I now have the Friends TV show plus some additional content that isn't available in my location, How I Met Your Mother, and if I scroll down, this will keep uncovering um, new content, Brooklyn Nine-Nine, Hitch, and this is really only scratching the surface as to the amount of TV shows and movies you can actually find. So you can also connect to the US, watch Marvel movies, and many others. So what I'm going to do now, guys, is actually go play a really small snippet of this TV show in real time, as I really want to share with you what it's actually like to use Hotspot Shield for unblocking Netflix. So I'll go and click on this one. I'll press play. And again, guys, this will be in real time with no edits whatsoever. And from my own experience with using Hotspot Shield, I do find they take between 5 and 20 seconds, um, depending on the time of day you're trying to connect, how many people are on the servers, and also where you're actually geographically located, as all of these factors can kind of affect the speeds and the load time. So as you can see, guys, this is now loading uh, with no issues whatsoever. So as you can see guys, Hotspot Shield is incredibly easy to get started with on your Amazon Fire TV stick. And I really do think it is quite an underrated VPN. Uh, many think of it for a desktop and a mobile phone kind of VPN. However, it actually is a great contender for the Amazon Fire TV stick. And from my own personal experience, I actually have found it to be really fast and on par with ExpressVPN and IPVanish. So again guys, if you do want to get started with Hotspot Shield, don't forget to check out the massive discount link down below in the video description. And also, if I've missed anything in this Hotspot Shield kind of setup and tutorial for the Fire Stick, then please feel free to comment down below as I'd be more than happy to help you out. So as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next one.